Okay, this is a Hasselblad, and uh, this is Nico. And Nico, you have a channel called The News? Well, Nico's Photography Show. I do the news about film photography there. Nico's Photography Show. And uh, Nico, you work at uh, Camera Store in Finland? Yep. Okay, and Nico is about to show me how to load film into this Hasselblad camera. So, super wide. Hasselblad. Okay, so let's uh, let's learn how to use this and let's do it. And uh, we are going to learn how to load and unload this camera, right? Yeah, let's do it a little easier so that way we don't have anything in the way. Yeah. There we go. That goes out. Okay. Okay. So, first thing. Uh huh. I'll te I'll tell you what to do. You do it. Okay. So we finished the roll. Yep. That means that you have to wind. So lift the little lever on the side so you can wind this little thing. This that comes up somehow. Just got to figure out how. There you go. And now wind clockwise. That clockwise? Way, clockwise. That means the roll will keep on spooling on itself like a normal. Just keep it up. Come on. You can do it, Dustin. Okay. Clockwise. Don't be scared. It's not going to break. It's just going to feel suddenly less tension. There's less tension. Okay. So keep on going a, a bit more just in case. Okay. Okay. So you should be good. Now you can pull it back down. Push it down. Flip the camera around. And now you have the dark side. You, uh -huh. We can even remove it, the back from it, which might make it easier for operation. Uh -huh. So push that button to the right and let it come off. Like pull it. There you go. Put the camera to a side. It's much easier when you only have the back. So now you have to lift the left side. You see this little wing here? Uh-huh. Lift it up and kind of do like either, I think it's counterclockwise, if I'm not mistaken. Counterclockwise? Yeah, and you'll feel like it comes out. Okay. So give it a little wiggle. There you go. Pull it out? Yeah, pull it all the way out. Oh, yeah. And now this is important. So now you notice that one roll is here and the empty spool is there. Yes. So hold the roll so it doesn't create that fat roll syndrome that uh -huh. we talked about. Yeah. And lift this up, all the way up. Lift this? Up, all the way. It goes all the way. There you go. Now grab your roll, do the usual mm -hmm. procedure. I like to get the rolls and I'll show you the motion that I like to do. Okay. So I like to grab the roll and give it a little extra tension. T tight, okay. Then always fold under your uh -huh. lab technician will love you for that yeah and then you lick this and you can put it together yeah okay i don't know if you can lick it on camera lick. <laughs> <laughs> there we go oh that was gross got spit on my finger <laughs> all right That's how film photography is you know an extra organic thing extra bubbly spit tonight okay <laughs> great so keep that as tight as possible uh huh. You went a little too wet on it. So. Yeah, I did. A little <laughs> goopy. Okay, got, got so it. Put it on the side. You're good. Yep. Um. Now this, as you see, there's empty. So we and have to this one. So you have to transfer the empty spool to the receiving end. There you go. That goes there. Push it down, and kind of give it a little twist. There you go. Okay. Now grab your new roll. Portra. Eight hundred. Now, so I don't forget it, do I set the ISO on the back here? Uh, you can. This is a little peep window, right? That is the peep window, which is going to help us load the first frame. Okay. But meanwhile, we can arrange the spinny spin. So let's see how it works, because I've never spun. Yeah, there you go. 800. 800. the little arrow. What is this right here? That usually is for color negative, and uh, usually you can label if it was... Color negative, slides, tungsten film, and so on. Mm -hmm. In the days of tung tungsten film. Oh, that's tungsten, I see. Yeah, but nowadays there's no tungsten, so keep it at 800 ISO, and that's good. Okay. It's kind of a little wobbly. Yeah, it's a little broken, but let's see. Where is 800? Oh, it's way over here. Yeah, you got to keep on going. It feels like it has a pivot point there. It's a little weird. Yeah, I think that... Maybe I can find another one of those. Okay, so 800. Okay, so you're good. Okay. So that's ready. You can put it aside. Now, yeah. are these Hasselblad cases uh, compatible with everything? Like, Yes. So can you shoot no. this on a C500? Yes, this is compatible with other Hasselblads, but there's some backs that were made for the focal plane uh, shutter version uh -huh. and electri electronic. 
So you've got to keep it to A12 and, and C12. This is a C12, which is the older. This is a C12, yeah. which is the older. Okay. So now you're receiving roll. First, before you peel. Okay. Um, you got to think where does the image going to be exposed. In this case, here. Because this is going to be somewhat mm -hmm. there. Yeah. So where is your film going to be exposed? Do you put the roll here like and this and it goes out or like this and it rolls out it's going to be it. like that yeah i always do that practice because a tlr would be opposite well, let me make sure i have it correct because i may be wrong so that's the film yeah so you're in the correct side so there now push on the little lever on the side there you go now this is the hardest part flip it all around Keep and tension there. Yeah, keep a little tension there. And now, no, 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 no. Before you move anything, go to the lever here. Uh -huh. And you see this metal, like, uh, little thing? This, this thing? Yeah, silver one. So that one's holding down. But that shouldn't be holding down. So click it. You see now it lifted? Oh, yeah. It's just a So you have to lift it. It's a very, very small nuance. Nuance is the word? Nuance, yeah. Nuance. So there. You want to keep it open while you load. Okay. So now you can do what you were doing. Okay. And you have to slide it under. It's Just not, that one yeah, side? Yeah, yeah, that's perfect. To the other side. Find Keeping the, tension there. Yes. Find the slit on the taking spool. Mm -hmm. And feed it. And then here you can turn. One second, let me do my focus here. Yep, just focus that. That's why that's knurled. So I can... Start it. It's the other way around. Oh, it's the other way. Yeah, Clock, clockwise. Okay. So go that way. There I you see. Go. And now you got to let it kind of bite itself. There yep. you go. So that's good. Okay. And now that's pretty much loaded. Make sure it's still under there, which it, it is. And then tighten it. Do I... No, no, that's fine. Don't tighten it yet. It, it will tighten it when you put it in. Okay. So now we can grab. Let me see. So now yes. make sure the dark. Let me take that. Uh... Until the arrow. You did um, until the arrow there? No. no. I thought that there's C12, you don't do it like that. I don't know what C12. I thought yeah, it was the that's peephole. Actually, that's, uh, yeah, you that's only look the peephole, so now yeah. you can put it in. Yeah. Okay. There's only one way that's correct. Oh, well, interesting. And so that actually engages down Inside. there. Okay. That's why it's gnarled. Yeah, I see that. Interesting. I'm just showing the camera here. So I'm going to bring my camera over yeah okay so down in there there's a knurling and that engages with this so put this in here like so and you sometimes have to kind of like finesse a little bit okay Let's see back this up just a little bit grab the camera I'm gonna loosen this a little bit more perfect thank you all right, and so now that's there. That's not in all the way, so I I usually suggest that you kind of give it a wiggle. Uh huh. One second, I'm just right. I'm learning my new tripod setup here. Lock, lock. Okay. So give it like a little wiggle, and then you'll notice that it goes there. You uh -huh. see? Boom! Now it's locked. Now go ahead, put it the other way, and down. Okay. So that now is light tight. Okay. But you're not on the first frame. So this, the automatic ones, the A12s are automatic. This one, C, it's manual. Through the peephole, you open the peephole. You have to look what you're doing. Lift the right side. Remember we rewound the film or wound the film? We got to do the same thing, but you have to notice the little peephole till you see number one. It's very hard to see. Probably mm -hmm. even harder through the camera. Okay. So, so I'm going to wind yeah. clockwise? Yeah. until you see a number one. It's very faint. I see it moving. Okay, I just passed something. Was that number one? I couldn't tell, it was a little offset. We'll try to see if you see a number one. If you see number two, then you stop, then you've gone <laughs> one too far. It'll take a little learning, but 
like I said, it's very, very, very faint. Maybe I've gone too... I mean, I've certainly gone enough, I think. Yeah, but if you know... Oh, there it is. There's an arrow. Okay, that's telling you it's coming. Oh, okay. And now look for that one. And the one is way less vivid than that. Do you see it there? No. Kodak. One. Okay, there, there it is. There you go. Now close the lid. I'm just going to see here. Yeah, wow, it is very faint. Okay. Close the little lid. Close this down. And you, you said you have to reset the counter? Yeah. How? Uh, you just turn it uh, counterclockwise. This one counterclockwise. Until it resets the counter. So not clockwise, but counterclockwise. Well, Any nails, yeah. Dustin? And here, do any nails? The other way. Counterclockwise? The other way than the winding. Yeah, whichever counterclockwise. Did. And you'll notice a one pop in there. Boop. There it goes. And now you can put it down on the camera and you would be ready to shoot. Interesting. Okay. It feeds from the feet, and then I like to feed it from the feet, and then slide the lock. You can jam it in, but it's better to be gentle. There you go. That's perfect. Now you could put your viewfinder in, and you're ready to go and shoot. That's awesome. There we go. Thank you very much. That's amazing. Now this is 800. Yeah, so I have to go back and, you know, use this little meter here for this. Very cool. Thank you so much. All right. Well, this has been how to load uh, a Hasselblad. What what type of Hasselblad is this? SWC camera, but the back is a C12. Uh, thank you, Nico. That no was worries. super Thanks. super helpful. I think people will be able to use this video to to figure this stuff out. Yep. And thank you, Yuho. Mm -hmm. For your assistance from the side. Ah, yes. So these cameras are amazing. And if someone wants to buy a camera like this, where do they go? Camerastore.com. Camerastore.com? Mm -hmm. With a C or with a K? With a K, of course. With a K. <laughs> camera store in Finland. Camera Tori. Uh, but uh, camera store with a K.com. And uh, yeah, I'm grateful. Thank you very much. Have a good one. Yeah.